Hello everyone and welcome to this first tutorial on Linux command line. My name is Alex and I will be your instructor during this uh, series. So in this first tutorial I want to talk about the four main topics. First of all we are going to go through why do we need to learn the command line uh, in the first place and then we are going to understand what is the shell program, what it is used for and then in the last two parts we are actually going to learn some commands and understand how we can uh, navigate through our file system and also how we can explore our file system, understand what kind of files do we have and what we can do with them. Um, okay, now uh, let's get started. So the first most obvious question is why do we need to learn the command line interface when we actually have the graphical user interface and it is for most of the computer users, regular users, it is a lot more uh, easier and intuitive to uh, drag and drop files and click into things basically basically use your mouse uh, more often uh, in order to get something done on your uh, computer and that that is true for certain tasks um, for some simple tasks but if you want to do something more complex you will need to learn uh, the command line interface since it is basically a more efficient and effective way of uh, Communicating with, uh, communicating with your operating system. Um, besides that, uh, command line interface uh, can also allow us to write some scripts and to run them and uh, basically automate certain tasks on your computer. So graphical user interface is basically good for some simple stuff and the command line interface is uh, for more advanced users and for performing more complex tasks uh, in a more efficient way. Um, okay, great. Now, what is the shell program? So basically, when we're talking about um, command line, we're actually ref referring to the uh, shell program, which is the program that basically takes our commands and passes them to the operating system in order to execute them. And uh, it uh, exposes uh, operating system services to the, to the user and other applications. Uh, basically, it creates an outermost layer uh, so that the user can interact with the operating system. And uh, that is why it is called the shell. Uh, and also, uh, most of the Linux distributions come, come with the um, come with a shell program called Bash, uh, which stands for Born Again Shell, and it is a reference to the um, creator of the uh, original Unix shell SH, Steve Born. Um, uh, so another term that you need to be familiar familiar with uh, is the terminal or the terminal emulator and uh, the terminal uh, is sometimes uh, confused with the shell itself so the terminal is actually the window that we open here and it is basically this uh, graphical user interface that allows us to uh, type the things and basically interact with the shell program. Um, so you know that if you are a Linux user, you know that you can open up, open up the terminal by pressing here or just uh, typing Control alt t um, And here, as you can see, we can already start to uh, type something and then press Enter to try to execute it. So I have typed some uh, random characters and you can see it just basically prints out that command was not found. Okay, so besides this, we can also see some information here. For example, we can see that we are logged in as a uh, user Alex. I am currently logged in as a user Alex and I have a regular user uh, privileges here. Basically, the dollar sign, the following dollar sign means that we are logged in as a regular user instead of super user. Uh, we are going to talk uh, about the uh, super user privileges a little bit later in this course, but basically if you want to log in as a root user and have super user privileges, you, you can type the command sudo su and then uh, type the password for your uh, super user. Um, and then uh, you will be logged in as a root user here and uh, see this hash sign here it basically means that we have super user privileges uh, okay so uh, what we can do with the uh, command line 
So basically, let's start typing some commands to see what we can do. For example, if we want to get the current date, okay, we can type the date command here and get the current date. Or for example, if we want to see the calendar, we can type the cal command uh, and see the cal calendar. These are some just random examples. Or for example, if we want to see uh, the free disk space on our drives, uh, we can type the df command and uh, get that information here. Um, and if you want to clear uh, the terminal, you can type the clear command. Okay, so uh, now what we might want to do when we're open, uh, opening our uh, command line. So first of all, uh, we might need to understand where we are, where we are currently in our file system. And uh, you can do that by typing the print working directory command, uh, which is typed as pwd. So we will use um, print working directory in order to understand where we are currently at in our file system. Okay, so uh, as we can see here, we are currently in the home directory of the user Alex. Um, so uh, Next thing we might want to do is understand where we can go from here. So basically we need to understand what is the contents of this directory and we can do that by typing the list command which is typed as ls and we when we typed ls uh, we can see that we have uh, some directories here which are uh, marked in blue here and some files. Um, okay, so let's say I want to go to this directory, Linux file system demo. Uh, how do I actually go to this directory? So I can do that by um, typing the command change directory. And it is uh, typed as cd. Uh, and then I have to specify where do I actually want to go. And I do that by passing uh, some arguments to this command. And the argument will be a Linux file system demo, basically the name of this directory. And then when I press enter, okay, so as you can see here, I am currently in this in the following directory. Uh, now, if I want to go back, I can uh, do the change directory command and then followed up with the two dots. And this way I will go back to the previous directory. Um, one more thing I want to mention before moving forward is that uh, in a Linux file system, it is uh, designed basically in a tree-like manner and everything is uh, starting from the root directory. And if I want to go to the root directory, I have to type the command cd followed, that, followed up with the uh, backslash. And this way, I will get into the root uh, into the root directory. And if I want to uh, list the contents, I will once again type the ls command and see uh, all the like uh, important directories that I have here. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, what uh, each of these directories contain uh, in this video. I think uh, this topic needs a separate video, but uh, it is also uh, an important one uh, if you want to understand how the uh, Linux file system is actually managed and what it contains. Um, so, okay, now I want to go back to the uh, home directory of the user Alex, where I was. I can do that if I want to go back to the home directory, I basically uh, can do that by just typing the cd command without uh, passing any other arguments and I will be redirected to the uh, home directory. And uh, once again, I will go back to the Linux file system demo here. Uh, okay, so besides passing an arguments to the commands, we might also want to pass uh, some options. And options are mm, used for modifying certain commands. Um, so for example, if I want to print the contents of a certain directory in long format, I can use the dash L option. Uh, so I can type ls dash L and this will print uh, the contents of this directory in the long format, which means that it will give me a bit of more information about uh, what uh, type of, uh, I mean, uh, what, what are the access rights for the directory of a file, the owner name, and also the modification time. So for example, if we take this row, I have the directory image here, and uh, here 
uh, you can say these characters the first character here d means that this is a directory and if uh, we had the um, dash sign instead of d uh, this would mean that uh, this is the this is a regular file and the next three characters r w x stand for read write and execute and this describes the access rights for the file's owner uh, which in this case is the user Alex and the next three characters describe the access rights for the uh, members of the files group um, I will explain the uh, groups a bit later in this course when we get to it and uh, the last three characters describe the access rights for everyone else uh, also we can get the information like the last time uh, this file or directory um, another option uh, would be, for example, ls-t, uh, which will uh, print the contents of this directory and sort it by the modification time. And also, uh, you can use the options together. So, for example, you can do ls-l and t, and to use the uh, dash l option and t option together um, to print them in the long format and also sort them by the modification time. So another important thing to know is that you can actually get help uh, for the commands in the terminal itself. Uh, so for example, if you don't know how to use a certain command or you forgot certain options, um, you can use the uh, help option to get a documentation for the command. So for example, I can type ls dash dash help and this will give me information about the list command and uh, describe what this um, command does, what type of uh, options does it take, the list of all options and also the description what each uh, option does. So this is something to keep in mind. Um, and the last two commands that I want to cover in this video are the file and less command. So once again, let's print the contents of this directory. And here I have the uh, I have a readme.md file. And maybe I want to know what type of file this is. Of course, I know that this is a markdown file by the extension name. But I can uh, print the type of the file and know what type of file this is by using the file command. So I can type file and readme.md and this will uh, print out that this is a text file um, and if I want to get the contents of this file I can use the less command so just type less and then readme.md so this will uh, print the contents of this file to the terminal and if I want to quit I can just type Q in the uh, on the keyboard um, so Basically, these are the, all the commands that I wanted to cover in this video, but in the next video, I will go deeper and introduce you uh, to some more uh, commands which can be used for the file modification and which are generally uh, commonly used commands uh, on the Linux command line. Uh, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will be happy to answer them. And if this video was helpful for you, please take a moment and leave a like. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.